far from the pageantry, pomp and parties, litter picking in the rain rounded off the coronation for these volunteers at a park near Birmingham. Yeah. Gary Norris brought his three-year-old son Samuel along to help. I'm a teacher at a local school in Birmingham and we've been doing a lot of citizenship in, in lessons. So um, rather than just oh, telling them yours? that there's something that they could be doing, I, you know, I wanted to experience it myself and come out and help. The sparse landscape, the result of a wildfire here in the heat of last summer, likely sparked by sunlight on broken glass. The big help out took place in rather cooler, damper conditions. This is a one-off event for the coronation, but many organisations need volunteers the year round and they're hopeful that by coming along to this, people will want to offer their services more often. In Leeds, volunteers tended horses at a stables where disabled children and adults can go riding. While in Banbury, a game of pin the diamond on the crown was part of a day of activities to encourage more people to sign up for regular volunteering. <laughs> That's a good one. If you've got spare time, please join us, volunteer and do as much as you can for the community. For some of the elderly people who come here, it's a lifeline from loneliness. They've taken me out and brought me here and I've seen all these people and I've made many friends. Oh, wow. That is okay. During a cost of living crisis that's left thousands reliant on voluntary services, even the Prime Minister and his wife got stuck in. Now, this is part of a big help out. Tens of thousands of events taking place across the country just like this, respecting and reflecting the His Majesty's long tradition of service. And it's community spirit like this that binds our country together. No royal event would be complete without a bit of planting, so volunteers in Green Park in London were hard at work. It really builds that sense of community in the UK and really just giving back. And for us, the Royal Parks, it really, feels really special to be um, a part of that and really doing our part to get people to give to the environment, which is obviously something that's close to King Charles's heart. And so it's hoped that the coronation, an event so far removed from everyday life, may have helped bring local communities closer together. Becky Johnson, Sky News.